Only a year ago I was just a normie. The average content I was consuming consisted of scientific theses, philosophy literature, classical music. I also studied ancient objects of art, played games for intellectuals, etc. Average works which were shown by YouTube algorithms were always exquisite pieces such as this. In a laboratory, unknowingly falling into a pit of immortality. Life was hell. Why am I telling you all this? Well, before I played my first Wii game, I wasn't familiar with the culture around anime at all. Since then all the content around me has changed from this, to this. Because of that I decided to review content around Genshin Impact in order to separate good one from not really good one. For the sake of clarity I divided content into four groups on my downhill of cancer list, here's a short explanation. Safe. This content is good and safe, you are not going to get brain damage. Euclid. This is 50-50, watch at your own risk. Ketter, you are probably laughing at the shit your parents are watching, but you do not realize how atrocious your own taste is. Archon, this one's a mystery. Let's start from the top. Content creators classified as safe are mostly your daily normies dreamers, YouTube bloggers, artists or any other kind of actually talented people. The most common type amongst them is a charismatic comedian. That's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture better... But I'm already tracing. <laughs> But there's actually more types, the smartest of us making guides, people who refine their skills to the point they can create actual art, become animators, painters, and many other people who inspire common folk. There's also people who are the bravest and strongest of us. They are leading society towards the bright future. This guys are chaotic as fuck. The overall quality may vary from video to video. And there's actually a lot of types, but I'll mention only the major ones. First type is called MMD. At first I saw that a lot of channels are copying original specialist dance from Persona 4, but with characters from Genshin Impact, which is cool, maybe not original, but still I like the idea of Genshin characters doing this thing. This format definitely has potential. But then I saw this. Most of the videos in the MMD genre feels weird. Most of these parodies lack context of the original or the actual actors. Every time I click on something like this I feel uncomfortable. I guess this stuff might be just not for me. At least these guys put an effort into animating these videos, which I can respect. Next I want to mention tier lists. This is a curse and a blessing. Sometimes tier lists can start a healthy discussion, but more often something gruesome. Especially when we are talking about waifu tier lists. This is such a degenerate trend, not only big channels talking about that, but even small ones. This is stupid, why even bother to argue about that if I already decided who is the best girl of every franchise. You're dumb if you are disagree with a dog. Tactical nuke incoming! When? How? Why? The character produced a certain sound. Mihoyo did this. Players. You won't believe this. Horny picture. Dumb picture and a lot of other elements and keywords indicating that you found the most cancerous, soulless, stupidest, effortless and the most annoying type of content. First day I got something like this in my feed by YouTube algorithms, I thought that I failed an IQ test and YouTube spit me in the face. Call me jealous, but I don't believe that these videos were created by real people. Because the problem is not with clickbait titles and thumbnails, but with the content itself. My theory is that these channels are controlled not by a human, but by an actual AI. I just don't want to believe someone willingly would create something more stupid than average article on the Kotaku website. And this bot's running channels by two patterns. Literally making Pornhub ads, but without any content behind them. Or we can assume that all our viewers just plainly dumb. What happens if you die against Senora? No way, you fucking die. But I was expecting secret sex scene. No. Guys, I have a better idea. What if we just steal posts from Reddit? And in the description we can claim that it was we who dug that info and exposed me Hoyo. And we can do this shit over and over. It's just sad that it's popular shit talk TikTok creators or hot tub girls on Twitch, or elite channels in our case they are on the same level BTW, but clowns like this we are just ignoring and watching them. I don't want to sound like a guy who doesn't let you enjoy these videos if you like it. You do. But I perceive it as garbage which is just wasting your time and doesn't give you anything in return. What also annoys me is the fact that these videos created for 5 minutes are getting way more views than actually great works, in which a lot of time labor and effort has been invested. That's annoying. I'm not saying that you have to put 100 hours into a video to make it good, but what we have reviewed is definitely not the case of a good old quality shit post either. Maybe I should just post my version of Yan face knees at this point. point, 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 point,
So I found this cute post on Reddit and I liked it, but a lot of people were disgusted by that third panel. So I asked them why. I didn't get the answer, in fact, Redditors confused me even more, not even by their comments, but by the way these people communicated with each other. They used some weird numbers. As a certified journalist I've decided that it's my duty to uncover this mystery. First I kidnapped some gotcha addict and started interrogating him about the numbers I found on Reddit. Hey! Who are you people? What do you want from me? You want the numbers, Mason. That's all we've ever wanted. I didn't get anything from this clown, except one word, Dujin. I thought that Dujin is the name of his account on OnAvance. And numbers are the password, but I was wrong. Then I decided to hit the books in order to find answers. Bible in particular, but I didn't find anything. I guess Jesus wasn't into that Dujin thing, but then a weird thing happened. Some stranger mail. emailed me an instructions. Is that one of that guys with numbers? How did they found me? Was I careless? Never mind, I guess I should play along. Before I typed anything, I've remembered that some people warned me to stop digging, but I'm curious, is that secrets of Russian government? Something about aliens or missions? Maybe I'll find me Hoyo secrets? Or it can even be the truth about Schlatt's secret about events from year 1999. I should stop thinking about that and just enter these numbers. God Lord protect me.